Hey everyone, it's Christy with Mermaid Cove Art. That's my Etsy page. Um, I'm sharing with you today a journal that I made for my Etsy shop. And if you're looking at this, you've either found it in um, on my Etsy listing or you probably just stumbled upon it. But this journal is for sale on my Etsy shop and the link is in the uh, description. So this is actually based on a journal that I made for myself. It's very similar. Um, I use the same color combos and kind of the same general design, but it's a little different. So I'm just going to share this one with you. So it's got a pinkish movie lace overlay. And then underneath is like this scrapbooking paper. It's got gold um, photo corners like that. Picture book corners, I mean. It's got like a silvery gold overlaying a scrapbooking paper that goes to the back of the spine and then it's got like a rosy colored pinkish embroidery thread holding in the signatures. There's six signatures with like six pages or so, five or six per signature. And then um, we've got these charms on it. So there's a magnifying glass that actually kind of works, which is cool. Um, these little beads here, and then a little brownish colored crystal. And then on the back, it just looks like this. So let's get into it. So this is the first page, and this is all hand done. Hand stamped, hand um, embossed and all that. So. We'll just flip through here. So um, in these journals, you'll see that I use uh, different types of paper. I use uh, older paper and newer paper, paper that I was gifted or that came from calendars like this page here, fabric. I like putting fabric into my journals. This is from a calendar and I use this for everything. So this is a really nice calendar. Or planner that I got from uh, Goodwill or something. It's got all these quilted designs. And then just scrapbooking paper. And I love texture and paper in general, so I try to do a lot of different sizes and you know colors, textures, um, just to keep it interesting. And then these are this is a pocket, so you'll see that I have some like um, hand hand done cut out or fold outs and pockets and stuff. So in this one I have just some um, ephemera that will come with it. And then some more ephemera. This is a little piece of ribbon and I just love the colors and the texture is really cool. So if you're scrapbooking or something, that's a nice little thing that you can add somewhere in this book or if you're journaling. I find that these journals are good for both scrapbooking and writing in, so you could kind of do whatever you want with it. That's kind of what I like about these, and then they're already decorated, so you don't really have to do much with them to make them look good. And I just really like making them. So this page, um, there are going to be some pages that look kind of funny, <laughs> so like upside down, but that's kind of the charm of a junk journal. It's like, it doesn't have to be perfect, so it comes like this. I love this paper. It's like, I think this is handmade somewhere. I don't remember the name of the type, but it's like this kind of really thin, I don't know, I just really like this texture. And I've seen it in different colors, and I kind of want to get some more, so... And then this is hand done, or so I I glued this onto here, and this was actually like this when I sewed it in and I made it bigger, added some stamping. And hopefully the light's not changing too much, it kind of looks like it is, but... And then this is from, um, I got this in a journal swap, this paper, it's... Um, Grand Canyon National Park, Arizona, <laughs> 1951 is the date on it, so it's just a lot of interesting stuff. It's even got stuff like circled on here, so, okay, and then this is a, p a thing that I did, um, 
this is just a little vellum envelope and i just put stuff in it so show you what you get sorry about the crinkling i know it's loud okay so just some textured paper kind of little scraps that you can use and it's not a real plain card but <laughs> yeah these are just a lot of fun and i feel like there's always a lot of like surprises in them i bought one from a person not too long ago and it's just really cool to see how what people put them in, in them and how they decorate them and stuff so so this is like um this is a envelope and i stamp circles out and then I added like this vellum to the back of it and then I took those little circles I distressed the edges and then I glued them so it kind of looks, looks like a little moon it looks like the moon constellations not constellations you know what I mean <laughs> changing of the yeah that thing <laughs> moon thing and then these are what comes in this one And I like that you can see through it. And here's another pocket. This one has some more stuff in it. This is good for like little pictures. Or whatever you want. I love this paper. I love the colors on it. And then this is a handmade paper um, from, Ch I think it's from China, handmade. So it's really cool because it's got like these little grains of grass in it, like little fibers, and I love stuff like that. So these journals are very much a reflection of myself. That's glue from um, me putting that, the charms in. And then this is really pretty. It's like a copper, copper foil page. And then this one, this one took a lot of work to make. So um, this is ribbon here, and this is um, a scrapbooking piece. And then this is more scrapbooking paper. So I actually took like these copper colored brads. I had to glue this, and the glue wasn't sticking. So what I had to do was I put these brads to kind of help hold it in place better. I actually did the same thing in mine, so um, what ended up kind of being a mistake I actually really liked, so I did it in this one also, so um, yeah, it's not going to move. <laughs> so it's got brads on this side, and then it's held in place on this side as well, so I put the brads on that side too to hold it down. So these are always very different, they're all different. Um, so even though mine looks similar, the inside is not the same at all. And then this is a little flip up and a little tag that you can actually take off of this. So if you undo that brad, you can actually take this tag off and use it. So, or keep it there and right underneath it and hide some messages, secret messages. <laughs> And then this is um, this is from a journal swap too. This is probably tea dyed or coffee dyed, coffee stained. So it looks like that. Speaking of tea. And then this is a cool paper that my sister gave me. This is wrapping paper. I'm a huge collector of wrapping paper. It's really bad. I have a big collection of it because. I just really like paper, so if I see a nice nice set of paper or just that kind of thing, I tend to keep it. So I, I'm a hoarder of paper, which you can probably see by just looking at these journals. It's part of the reason why I started making them. Okay, here's another pocket, and in that I just have one of these. It's a little piece of scrapbooking paper with a little seahorse on it. And we're getting towards the end. This is another newsprint type texture paper here. 
Okay, this is um, this is a pocket I made. Um, I've started making these little pockets that are literally just ribbon. So they're made out of ribbon, and then um, I usually put like a little thing here. So it holds everything in place just fine. And then little stuff in them. So there's that. I love this. I love this stuff. I think I got um, this ribbon at Goodwill. <laughs> It was like a dollar, and I use it a lot. I just really like the texture of it. Okay, getting close to the end of this now. And this is hand marbled, I believe. I got this in a, a art 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 shop that sold um, specialty papers. And then that's the end of it. So. Like I said, this is listed on my Etsy shop. Um, it'll be available. It's the only one like this. It'll be available till someone buys it. So if you want to buy it, go to my shop. Or if you want to see more videos, um, I have a couple more flip throughs. Uh, some of the journals have sold or they're not available, but um, a lot of them are. So, And I'll try to continue uh, filming videos. I might even do some that are just like DIY type things so you could kind of see how I do the inserts so if you're interested in that let me know and I can do that so anyway I'll talk to you later hope you had a good time watching this bye